Hello everyone. You know what I have just kind of noticed today after maybe about like four months in Russia? That my depression is kind of gone. And it feels weird because I have been depressed for probably like 20 years because I've been living in America for 20 years. So the whole time I moved to America when I was 13 years old. The whole time since I moved there, I could say that I was depressed. And it's gotten worse towards the end. Towards, probably. And it took me, God knows how many years, to realize that what I need to do is to leave America. Because I've tried literally everything else. I've tried moving. I've tried different jobs. I've tried, you know... All kinds of things. Moving to like a rural area. Moving to Boston. Nothing worked. And it's interesting because I watch, you know, a lot of like, you know, YouTube videos of people from US, from Canada. And a lot of them have the same theme. They talk about the fact that they can't find friends. They can't form relationships. It's a very like common theme. It's it's. So finally, it hit me that, you know, I need to, I need to move out of America. And it was like a groundbreaking idea for me, because I've never thought about it before. Like, you know, when I was 19, 20, when I was younger, the idea of leaving America never crossed my mind. Um, because I was just, firstly, nobody gave me that advice, and I couldn't come up with it on my own. <sighs> It doesn't mean that you should go, because I went to Russia, right? But I think if you go to any, like, non-Western country, it will work, you know? Now, granted, I think some people... And I'm not advocating anyone leaving. I'm just telling you that it's an option. That's all. It's not for everyone. It just worked for me, and I wanted to share it. Because people talk about, oh, you know, like, these comedians, you know, I've watched like people like Maz Jobrani, you know, and a lot of people say, oh, I've traveled to India, you know, and thank God I live in America because they're, they shit all over the place and, you know, they have no toilets. Firstly, I've traveled and I've noticed the exact opposite, that it was America that was backwards, you know, for the most part. And also, it's not just the toilets, see... Non-Western world has a more communal approach. It, it's super easy to make friends in probably places like India. I know it's super easy to make friends in places like Russia. You know? And it just flipped my world upside down because I no longer need to fulfill the Western values of being important for someone to be friends with me or consider me. Nobody, like, it, p things are not that critical here. You know, people look at you more as a person. If you're like a decent person, people will hang out with you. I mean, granted, you're not going to be in, you know, friends with Vladimir Putin or anything, but at least you're going to have friends. And it feels amazing. Like, there's no more pressure about me. It's not that I don't want to achieve things. It's just there, there's not that much pressure. And it feels good to be happy finally, you know, to, like, enjoy things, to not have to be important and like you know <laughs> you know this type of a person that's considered ideal in america so to speak or at least in southern california i think southern california had a lot to do with it because that place just blows i don't know blows candles blows everything so yeah I finally, and, and, and I'm happy that I finally solved this problem, because I looked at this problem as a scientist. Like, like I literally wanted to see what could make me not depressed, if anything, and I finally figured it out. So yes, I'm happy. I'm like, you know, some scientist that figured out penicillin formula, you know? I was like, finally it works. It, like, it was like a software program that I've been trying to fix for years, and I finally found the solution. So it's cool. Can't explain it, um, but I feel like I, I have energy, first of all, I don't sleep all the time like I used to, and I feel optimism. I, fe I feel like there's like a fire burning inside of me that went out like a long time ago.
and nothing I did in America could fix this. All right, um, don't forget to subscribe to my new channel, and I will talk to you guys next time.